Oh, this is nasty. Welcome to Let's Play Okami HD episode 24. I'm your host, Ultra Director Jester. We are now inside a man's body. I bet you never thought we would have ended up here when we started this game, did you? This is his uvula. Uh, if you slash that, he will sneeze you back out and you'll just, just take you right before you jump back in. But we need to go deeper. We need to go deeper inside of this man. And, uh... This is like trauma center, but really intense. And he swallowed a save point? How does that work? Why turn back now? There's a boss battle in there. It's a gold mirror. There's something big ol. This is getting so thick. Ugh. Yeah, it smells like disgusting rotten eggs and oh, it's so freaking nasty. And yeah, this so looks like a place to have a boss battle, doesn't it? Yep. Sentient halitosis. We need to talk about Blight for a little bit, but before I do, I'm going to describe his technique for a while. When you see him grab his sword, jump! He's going to go very, very quickly towards you, and when he shakes like that, he's going to go somewhere else. The idea is just to just keep moving. And when he does that, you want to try to hit that blue sword, but it didn't work that time. He will continue these moves for a little while. If you just keep moving around, you should do just fine. Better yet, if you need some help in hitting those swords, you can use Veil of Mist and, oh, look at that, I know exactly which one to hit. That one. I mean, that. But they do hurt. Alright, future me, just take it away and start talking about Blight and how he's actually related to Virgil from Devil May Cry 3. Well, okay, past me. Yes, it's true, our boss friend Blight here is indeed based on Virgil from Devil May Cry. Not only do their swords look similar, looking at Blight's Gold Nail and Virgil's Yamato, their movesets are entirely similar as well. Like Virgil, Blight uses summon sword techniques, and uses hurled spectral blades to down his foes. Not only that, but when Blight uses his Circle of Swords, it's the same attack as Virgil's Swordstorm ability from Devil May Cry 3. That game was made before Okami, 
so it's likely that Blight was modeled after Virgil in some way. Neat little factoid from such a simple boss, huh? Oh, by the way, past me, you're a fucking lazy asshole. It gets trickier as you take more health away, too. And also, you can just slash the sword. You didn't have to hit it at all. You can also stop time because it's actually on a timer, and you can just keep hitting it like that. And in fact, that's kind of the preferred technique. What a joke. And that was the lamest version of Pestilence ever, and oh god, those are his breath mints! Oh no, 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 no! <laughs> oh. That's actually a pretty powerful rosary. Well, how strong did you think sentient halitosis would be? And now witness probably one of the most surreal moments in the entire game. How do you get him to move? Well, you just kick his stomach in the direction you want to move him, and he'll just sort of awkwardly lurch forward. No, 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 no. 
You know, 800 years ago, this would be treasonous and punishable by death. Just to play the emperor like this, you know, knowing so much about, you know, Japanese tales and Japanese history, you know. <laughs> this is just kind of secretly funny, I don't know. This is just a strange and surreal moment, I just have to indulge myself a little bit. You know, there's always this, in hundreds of years of East Asian folklore, there's always a tale of a kind emperor lending a hand to the downtrodden common man, either by releasing him from prison or granting a favor, but, uh... I think the reason why it's funny to me, I'm thinking that all those nice deeds that have been written through history are because of a bug in his stomach that was controlling him. His bad breath took a mind of its own. Wow! Emperor <laughs> is a damn good lockpick! So then the Emperor lets out a great gigantic So oh, he sneezes a wolf! Wonderful, Your Highness! Yes! Fantastic. That's not bad, I guess. Yeah, sure, we'll save. Then we get to dominate the uh, indomitable, which just means defeat Blight.
Well, let's see what we can get. We got 68 right now. The fog probably would be nice to have, because that can warp us between certain origin errors. But, uh, what can we get for now? We got, uh, a wooden mat, a golden lucky cat. But I, what I really want is that golden ink pot. We don't have enough for that yet. We'll be getting more demon fangs as we go along, as we get more demons and shit like that. But right now we need to focus on what's outside of the Emperor's Palace. Specifically, this chest right here. Straybeat 59. There's other chests here too, if you look closely. And this one over here, which is a lacquerware set. This one over here. Bullhorn. Uh, let's see. And then these two over here. Oops. I don't know why I couldn't dig there. Strange. That gets us a crystal. And a pearl. There's nothing else here, but if you look closely, uh, this is kind of where we were when we were small. You know, that big stone path, the cave, the bamboo set that we left up to get up here. That's kind of neat, you know? That's how we eventually wound up here into his, uh, mosquito net and all that. That's, that's kind of neat, but, uh... Alright, we're done here. I think we got all the chests we need. We don't have any demon things to trade for right now, so we'll just head on out. See you just later. And I'll talk to Kaguya for a bit. One faint memory. The next place in our journey is going to take us to Sasa Sanctuary right there, but we'll get there. Well, uh, we'll follow her in a bit. For now, what we can do is, uh, just, we can start exploring around here because this is the first time that we can actually see Seon City without this evil, nasty fucking mist everywhere. Oh 
man. Just celebrate so much I want to bloom all these freaking trees. Well, if I can, that is. Alright, maybe not all of them. That's quite a daunting task, but you, you get the idea. Well, the first thing I want to do is I want to talk to Queen Himiko and give her a piece of my mind right now. Well, her bodyguards aren't going to stop me now. Queen is available to just get right past him. I mean, I had to do everything for her. I saved the Emperor, saved your town, got rid of the mist, and... I'm about to help a weird bamboo lady, but I'm gonna give her a piece of my mind. I'm gonna go straight up to her, march right up to Queen Himigo, and say, Hey, what the fuck is going on? You need to step your game up, lady. Alright, I'm gonna give her a piece of my mind! I don't give a shit, I'm a god! I will see her that I am- Hmm. Damn you, Queen Himiko, your impenetrable defenses! One day I will see that you- Ah! There's a couple more things I want to show off here. I think there's something back here. Clover! Nice to see. Come on! I hate blooming so much. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't! There are a few other things here too, but we're going to be exploring Seon City in detail towards the end of the season. Right now, let's go ahead towards the Commoners District. Passing through Rao's place here, excuse me. And back across this formidable bridge. Our friend Benkei is not here yet. He's actually, fish he's actually fishing back at the aristocratic section. Or aristocratic cores, whatever you want to call them. But I want to spend a little bit more time in here in the in the uh, commoners district. Commoners quarters, section, area, whatever, before we take off for the day. That's right, we do have a mission here in mind, but there's quite a lot of side quests to do that requires several, several, several iterations. But for now, let's go ahead and take a quick look around, blooming as many trees as possible. Trust me, it actually sort of makes sense in the end. Oh, I bloomed two of those in a row. Nice. Yep, every tree that you see, bloom it. Bloom it until your spots fall off. If my spots will fall off, I bloom this fucking tree! Hate that shit. And when that happens, use an infinity stone. Ha 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 ha! These two. So, however, some trees cannot be revived yet. They're still feeling the effects of the mist, I suppose. But some of them can. Well, from there, let's head this way, actually. Several shops here. You can't get that tree. There's a weird chest place over here. Hmm, I wonder what was in here. Several chests. 
Oops, that was not a slash. That was a slash! Which gives us an incense burner. And a holy bone. Oh, so more chest here. Uh, chest in there. This gives us a pearl. We'll jump up here. That one gives us a crystal. And two more over here, which is a vengeance or exorcism slip, my bad. And another crystal. Man, there's so many down here. Let's see. One more over here. Which is glass beads. I think that's a new one. Or one we don't get a lot. And the last one over here. Let's see, down here. Is a sun fragment! I don't know how many I have right now. I think that's my second one. Doesn't matter. Yeah, that'll, get, that'll fetch you a pretty penny at the merchant's office. Well, Alright, next up. Just passing through here. Let's, let's talk by some children! Hey, you! again, because I feel like my mood just darkened after that. Making our way over here very seamlessly. More shots that we can check out. Again, we'll be seeing all these places later on in the season. There's a lot of side quests that need to be done, a lot of side quests that we can't do right now. But we'll get there, damn it. Work with me, Emmy. I've seen you do parkour before, you can do it. I believe that's a restaurant. Uh, I think over here is where I want to be. Ah! Hammy! Hammy, you're killing me! Thank you, dear. But here's where we need to bloom all those trees. Mr. Flower's name in Japanese is Hanasaka Jiji, and he is based on the folktale Hanasaka Jisa, the old man who brought withering flowers back to life. His side quest involves doing just that. I would, actually. So, yeah, bloom on the trees that aren't cursed. There's some around here right now. We'll probably finish this later on, because I kind of want to finish things up now. So, yeah, that one. That one. Yeah, this one over here. Oh, shit. Oh, come on! Ah. That one over there, and I think this one's safe too. And, uh, oh, can't forget the one on his head! Which gives us 20 praise. You talk to him, and I'll tell you how many you have left. But we'll get there later on. I think that some of these trees can be blue now. He talks about a thief at night we have no hope of catching right now. And uh, I think that's really all I want to do right now. Next time in Okami HD we're going to talk to Kaguya and get to one of the most famous Japanese tales of all time. 
You got a platinum check in after the credits, so stick around if you want to just see what where we're doing in terms of the beast area and the stray bees and whatnot. But for everybody else, we'll see you next time, and let's play Okami HD! Hey everybody, welcome to the Platinum Check-In. We're gonna be uh, checking out some things for that uh, we need for the Platinum. Uh, this screen's looking pretty good. We don't, we barely have anything to change right now, but uh, uh, as long as you max all, five, all four of these out, you should be fine. We're nowhere near maxing out the health right now, but you should be focusing on ink and money, essentially. And Astral Pouch if you're not that good at the game. But uh, we're also here for uh, our new technique. We got Veil of Mist, which slows down time, obviously. Uh, let's see, travel guides, still looking pretty good on those. We're not going to worry about these until way later on, because that's where it has the um, secondary brush techniques. But we're all caught up, it seems, so we're looking pretty good there. Uh, the bestiary, we got several new entries. We got uh, the Headless Guardian. We got the Ubume. We also have... Ichiro, Jiro, and Saburo. And I have a few more too. We also had Blight. I recently bested him too. And uh, the other ones here were the Doom Mirrors I already showed off, but it's good to show anyway. Fire Doom Mirror, the Ice Doom Mirror. Thunder Doom Mirror and the Wind Doom Mirror. If you have all four of those, you are golden. Uh, Moveless, we're not worrying about yet. Animals, uh, I think we got some new ones. We got a cat, we got a lot more later, and a cow. Nice. That's all we got. We only have about three more animals to get before that's taken care of, and I think they're way later in the game, so you don't need to worry about animals for now. Uh, fish we're not focusing on yet, but we got a cutlass fish, and uh, did we get anything else? I don't think we did. Nope. Uh, the treasure tome. I think we got a few new ones of these. The dragon statue. Um, uh, let's see. The monkey statue. There's 13 zodiac treasures. And that's it for that one. And last but not least, the stray beads. There's still a couple that uh, won't be available to us until way later in the game, but for now we're kind of on track and we'll be getting the ones at Seon City probably towards the end of the season once we wrap up everything here. So we still got a lot to do, but we've already done a lot so far. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.